Well, good morning again. We're over on our single family lot here now, and uh, today you can see we've moved all the debris, all but for a little bit of the peeled back grass that we need to take out this morning. Some of the old perimeter drains are there, and they've been peeled out of the way. Uh, we leave them where we can, but in this case we had new stuff going in. Uh, we're also today installing our uh, our perimeter drains and our sewer, sorry, our uh, rainwater leaders. So you can see here is our rainwater leader here. We've figured out where the downspouts are going to be on this house. And uh, we've also buried in the gravel here up against our retaining walls of the vapor barrier, we buried our um, the start of our perimeter drains and that'll run all the way down that ditch to the back. So I'll show you some more when they're finished. Talk to you soon. So we'll talk to you a little bit about how perimeter drains work to drain a site. Now you remember on this site we actually underneath all this we actually had a bit of a sump that was running back to the original sewer which is sitting over there. So we've left that in place. So this site is already pretty dry to start with. We've also used our uh, recycled sand in the middle so it compacts down hard and drains away and out here we've used the seashelt sand. It's actually from seashelt and it's a kind of a coarser grain. You can see it's a, it's a bit of a, a coarser grain of sand but in this case it still drains so it allows for a nice hard firm compact lawn but uh, also still drains so it doesn't uh, you don't get root rot or anything like that. But in order to keep this lot dry like a golf course would we have a few things that we do. So the first thing that we do is we prep the lot right, which we've done. Second thing that we do is we dig these long trenches that I showed you earlier all the way down the exteriors and up against the neighbor's lot wherever we've got a higher surface touching a lower surface we've got to put a vapor barrier so that water hits up against this wall when we're all done and runs down into this gravel trench that now or actually not here but up there has a slotted or perforated pipe installed in. We use gravel because instead of sand that will fill up the pipe and cover in the holes after a few years, the gravel always allows drainage. So you can see there is our perforated pipe that will continue down, and there's the gravel that surrounds it up against the vapor barrier. Here on the other hand, we've got a solid pipe. Actually, I think that's a, yeah, we've got a, our, uh, a pipe that we run. Let me just have a look here. Yeah, solid pipe for our are uh, sanitary. So these are, actually sorry, scratch that, not sanitary, are storm sewers. So these are the ones that the gray water that runs down out of the house and in this particular case we, we uh, bring that all forward to the uh, to the ditch in the front. So that's how we drain a lot with perimeter drains and gray water off the house with our uh, rainwater leaders. And uh, that's it for now. We'll show you when it's all done. Well, good morning. Uh, you can see behind me our inspectors just showed up to have a look at our perimeter drains, our storm sewers, and our sewer line that's been put in this morning. So we saw yesterday our perimeters and our storms, our rainwater leaders. And today, this morning, I'll show you what our sewers look like. So what our exterior drainage does is basically brings our sewers to the house. Our plumber is responsible for bringing it from the exterior of the house to the interior so we'll actually go underneath the foundation there and into the house. You can see it's all bedded in gravel now nice and deep and ties into the old sewer out the back. That's it. So this lot is basically ready to build on once we fill this all back in and uh, we can start backfilling the forms and the foundation and uh, uh, yeah keep going from there. So. Show you some more soon.